Hey guys and welcome back to my match day vlog. Today not so at home to crew. It is now match day 10. It is the end of September and Knots are still looking for their first win of the season. But we've got quite a good record against Crew. We've won 9 of our last 14 games against them. And they haven't scored away from home in the league this season. If there was ever a chance to get our first win, it's today. Come on Knots, come on you pies. Let's do this. So it's one change from the team that faced Northampton. Hewitt comes in for Houston in the centre of midfield. Yeah, I believe that's to give more protection to the, to the defence. A few predictions around on Twitter. A lot of a lot of a positive feeling coming to this match by Knotts fans. A lot of wins being predicted. Stead, a very popular goal scorer amongst the predictions on Twitter. Yeah, well, I feel a lot more positive coming into this game. After that clean sheet last Saturday, and the fact that we've got quite a decent record against Crew. Go on, Aaron, score prediction. I think my prediction is going to be 2 1 knots. Who's going to score? Um, I'd say Stead and Bolt. About half an hour in, it's not one crew well, not started well, but we allowed crew a sloppy, sloppy goal. It really should have been dealt with. Jamie Turner should have cleared the ball, and it's ended up in the, it's ended up in the back of the net. And that, but apart from that, there's, 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 we've tried to create, but nothing has like come off that that well. But yeah, we've, we've, we're playing the ball around nicely. Just trying to wait for a breakthrough. Mills, that was an out, that was every day of the week a red card, and Nilsson's got a yellow card for it. A lot of money at the crew play for making the most of it, and now he's up running around. But it did look a very. I don't know why he went in like that, Nilsson, I have no idea, but we somehow got away with it. Simon, you're back at last. What have you got to say on the first half? Well, uh, I've been wondering what all the fuss is about. And um, having just watched that, I can see now. Um, but my midfield, man, the Murphy is losing capable of stopping a team. They, they're not very good. Um, but even though they're not very good, they still sleep on the CM teams for us whenever they want to. Um, the guy who's playing right with them every time they get the ball, he always seems to have 20 or 30 yards of space around him, which is fine. But then when the ball comes in, you've got to deal with it. And the one time that they got their goal, he put in a pretty innocuous cross, which is really, yeah, every day for any player at any level, and we made a right old hash of it. So, with a better team, it's one all. I don't think that's unfair. Um, but come on, we're always better second half. <laughs> Cedric 
Cavina to the back post. Mr. 50 p and Elliot Jewett well, gets his own on it. It's 2 1. Been the better team this side. Come on! Oh, if he goes down, it's a penalty. I know. Simon, your first time here this season and you've uh, and we've won it already. Yeah, well, if I can't leave you to look after it, I'm not missing another one. Um, it was good half-time change, Kewl switching wings for Baldwin. Um, it stopped their winger having all that space. Um, really, really nullified them in the second half. Um, and we always were the better team. We always had the measure up and the only the midfield could get a grip. I still don't think that they're anywhere near being right. The, the midfield doesn't look like a unit. And I, I still think the fitness thing's working on because last 15 minutes when the two of them look like they were blowing. But it's a start, it's a first win, it's all got to start somewhere. This time next week we're mid table. Let's, <laughs> let's look forward to Tuesday. So we're back and knots are back. Knots have won at last at the tenth for tenth. Not to have a win, and we are out the relegation zone. Now it's time to start looking up the table. A lot better today. Since Q's come in, apart from the Stevenage game, we've looked, and the Exeter game, obviously. The last two games, we've looked a lot more structured and solid defensively. I know there was a mistake from Turley in up today's goal, um, but we look a lot better defensively because. Previously, every time the opposition came forward, it looked like they were going to score. Now, uh, there's a lot more structure there. We just look, we just look a little bit better at the back. Um, Kuhl tactically changed the game today. One of the many faults Nolan had is he couldn't tactically change a game. Kuhl did. He could, he saw we were being overrun in midfield. He went to a four-five-one, and it paid off. And I've got to say, Lewis Alessandro and Elliot Hewitt. A lot of uh, quality performances today from, from the both of them. Stead, he's our tractor. He ran, he he put a great shift in up front. Um, he was really good when he when we went to four five one because he was the lone striker. Um, yeah, he worked hard like like you always expect from John Stead. He always puts in a shift. Elliot Ward, quality today. As casual as he is. And so calm, so calm in defence. He's so calm, he could play opera. He was quality. 
he could, if he was that he's that calm, he could play in the Sydney Opera House, and it will lead, led by example. Uh, there were a few times where he left the ball, and it was a bit, you know, it was a bit nervous. I know sometimes he shouldn't have left it, but he, he played really well. Uh, yeah, so winnable games coming up for not Crawley on Tuesday night, but they've done well so far under their new manager Crawley. And then Maxfield next Saturday is a big chance to get three points. They still haven't won this season. There are there are opportunities to get more points now. We need to take this and build on it. We finally got our first win. The pressure's off. Now it's time to get on with it. Now it's time to start getting Q's philosophy over. And let's start moving up the table. But we have won at last. Come on, Knots. If you enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe. Be champions. And as always. Tchau,